Hey YouTubers, Dizzy here with some info on XCOM 2. As you may know, it was released just a couple days ago and we already have three mod packs in the workshop on Steam for the game. For those who don't know who X, what XCOM is, it's a tactical RPG, uh, kind of RTS style, played, you're fighting aliens, retaking the world back after an alien rule. So these three mod packs were available day one, released to the public. Anyone who downloaded the game can get these for free. You didn't have to pre-order anything. This isn't the pre-order DLC. So let's take a look at these that are available to everybody out there today. First one I want to hit is the leader pack. The description reads, this mod adds a development path for XCOM soldiers in the Gorilla Tactics School, allowing them to train special perks that benefit the entire squad, but only one leader at a time can go on a mission. So be careful whom you select for training. And if we zoom in here on the actual screenshot, we can see there's five total paths, um, levels of the of the skill here. And the last one, Field Commander, you can see some of the perks of that one. You get In XCOM, you get either one choice, but you can't have both. So as you progress down the ability tree, you get to pick one or the other as you get um, level up your your XCOM soldier. And this one down here is for the field commander of the highest level. She's a captain, and as they level, they would progress from uh, soldier, lieutenant, corporal, captain. And uh, and sorry for uh, if I missed a one or two in between there. But you can see that this adds a whole new development path for the soldiers in the game alongside with, or with what's already there for you. So let's move on to the next pack here, which is the Mutant. Centurion Alpha Pack. This adds a new alien to XCOM 2, the Mutant Centurion, a more powerful enemy with a special ability, War Cry, that grants bonuses to many of its alien allies. It shows up roughly mid campaign. And as you can see, this is he's pretty big. He's large and in charge. XCOM 2 over the original XCOM, from what the videos I've already seen, offers already a wider variety of enemies different enemy types, just a much more expanded universe available to, to to the battle system there. And it makes sense because the aliens have taken over the world, the, the Earth, our world here, and we're bringing it back. So they, you know, they have time to kind of evolve and, and grow to our environments. So definitely very cool addition to the game there. And then lastly, the SMG pack. This adds three submachine gun types weapons of the game one per tech level for the XCOM side they grant mobility and consumer bonuses but do less damage have less ammo and have some long range aim penalties relative to the assault rifle of the same tech level and they can be equipped by any soldier who can equip the assault rifles of size rangers specialists and rockets uh excuse me uh, rookies not rockets um so we have a gun added to the game already day one XCOM dropped you can get these three packs for free and these are from the workshop so you can expect more people to add things as time goes on kind of like the skyrim workshop you know mod mod support seems to be a high focus for xcom 2 and these three mods definitely speak to what is capable by this game we saw some cool mods in the original that seemed a little hackish at times but with the full workshop support and then seeing that you can adjust tech trees uh, and skill trees, add enemies to the game, add weapons to the game already from day one only bodes well for the game's longevity and making this the best XCOM ever created since uh, they started making these games. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more information on mods as they get added to the game and added to the workshop. Subscribe now and you'll get those later. Thanks for watching. Dizzy out.